Hello, welcome back to this next video in my Cisco SD-WAN lab tutorial series. And since the last one, I just installed the V edges. So I've I'd added this V edge and this one. And since then, I've added a bit more into it. I'm going to talk you through that now. So this is my simulated internet. Now this is actually a BIOS switch. So I'm just going to shut that one down to show you. Uh, if we can edit this. So this is just a Cisco VIOS switch and what I've done is change the icon to the cloud icon so you just can make it look whatever it likes. So that's the cloud icon on the switch and then we can then connect all of these outside interfaces here to provide the simulated internet connectivity. So I've connected up the vManage and the vSmarts ETH1 interface into here, the vBonds GE00, and the same for this vEdge and this vEdge. So we've now got connectivity between these devices, and I've then addressed um, the ETH0 interfaces here with 192.168.1.199.200.201. That's my management so that's the inside management that goes to that switch and then back out to my PC and then the ETH0 interface, ETH1 sorry are 111, 112 and 1113 and that is my internet space so let's just uh, jump into VEdge1 here and I'll show you how to configure that So I'm just going to log in. So on the Viptela vEdge device, um, we've got uh, VPN0 and VPN512. Now VPN0 is our internet side of the setup and the VPN512 is our management side. And then all I've done is Conf T, and then you say VPN zero. Oops, VPN zero. Then you say your interface, so interface GE zero zero, and then I can give it an IP address. So I gave it one dot one dot one dot twenty. Okay. Now if we exit that, there's no changes, so it's not going to ask me to change. Oh, it does. There we go. <clears throat> okay let's just not um, commit that so what I've got is the interface 11120 on here and that's configured it wouldn't didn't like that because it had already been configured so from here I can now ping 1.1.1.1 and I get a reply now 1.1.1.1 is my vManage. So let's just add this uh, IP address in here so we can see that. And so this one is 1.1.1.20. And the same again on the vManage. So if we go in here. And then I show the run on that one. So VPN zero interface ETH one, and then the IP address is one dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four. So that is what you need to do just to configure the IP connectivity. So we've now got the V Edge devices that they can see each other, and the controllers are all on board, and I can connect to them on the management side. And then I've also popped the switch on here, which is the inside network, and another switch over here. And we'll get onto those later because we're then going to try and run some traffic all the way across this. So the next thing we need to do is to get all the controllers talking together. Now, if I go into the, uh, where are we? <clears throat> Uh, HTTP 192.168.1.199 so that is my 
vManage. So if I just log in here for now. Can see what's happening. And we'll see I've only actually got one. So vManage is set up and then we've got to tell um, the SD1 controllers about each other. So we need to tell vManage where vBond is. So this is just starting up now. This is running on my little home mini server. It's not the fastest, uh, but it does work. So it's very good. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> I've got a vManage here. So that's showing up as one but we don't have any other devices uh, that are showing as connected. So if we go into administ oh, configuration devices and controllers, you can see there that I've only got one controller. It is vManage and its certificate has not been installed. So what I'm going to do in the next lesson is show you how to add all the other controllers into vManage and how most importantly to get the certificates on them so because all the communications between these devices and the vEdges are all secured by a certificate and in that one we're going to use a local generated certificate because um, I don't want access out to a public certificate or we're not using Cisco for that so I We'll stop it here and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to take the Cisco SD-WAN lab to the next step and get all the devices talking to each other and the communication paths up and install those certificates. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have please give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribe because I'm adding these videos as I do them so you'll get a notification and then you should follow along building this SD-WAN lab with me as we go. So I'll see you in the next one.